So the stalks of this Cardone are edible. You can peel them back to the soft innards and you can fry them, boil them, bake them, all sorts of things. I think we're going to give this a try this evening. And this plant's been handling the colder weather without any issues. Just like the artichoke, this plant has now made a couple new pup plants that I can separate and replant somewhere else. This one's got a big old root on it. Got some smaller roots, should work. So unfortunately the chaya plant did not make it through the hard freezes that we recently had. I left it here unprotected but took some cuttings. We may give it another try or I may just try something new that's more compatible to my zone, zone 9B. Same thing here with the passion vine. Hard freeze took it out. See the base of this passion vine here still has some green life in it we'll see if it comes back so i did take a bit of a harvest off of this kumquat it's still got some edible fruits like this here but the majority of them are just squishy and no good This merit collard has done an excellent job getting established this year, but unfortunately it's growing into the pathway, so I'm going to take it out now.
There's a lot of cuttings on here. This is just a platform for my compost tea brewer. Now the star fruit tree also took a pretty bad hit after the hard freeze. We'll see if it comes back, good. If not, I'm gonna pull it on out, try something else. These purple tree collars, how purple they've been getting with the cold weather. See the backside getting all this speckled purple on it, really beautiful. The front's becoming predominantly purple. Some of the leaves like this one here are completely purple now. You can really see the structure of these fruit trees now. And they're starting to already bud out here in Northern California Zone 9B. 